here are more than a dozen new features for messages arriving in iOS 17. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I'm gonna show you a ton of new features. This is everything that is new, improved, and changed with the Messages app arriving as part of iOS 17. We have a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead, grab our iPhone, and jump into this. Here's my iPhone on iOS 17 and clearly I've got a lot of messages. It looks like Wes has been blowing up my phone. Let's open the Messages app and tap into Wes's name. You can see we have this little icon here at the top. This is called Catch Up and allows me to jump up to the top of where we left off our conversation. This feature is going to be so handy for big group messages. Hey Andrew, I know you're awake. Answer me. Important stuff. This clearly looks very important. Breaking news. This dog is writing at Apple Insider. If there's a lot of barks, you'll understand why. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other features besides Catch Up coming to iOS 17, including the ability to swipe to reply. So here's this photo of Wes's dog. I can swipe to the left and I can see the timestamp. I can swipe the other way and now I can reply. This is amazing. Sent, just like that, I can reply to an individual message inside of that thread. You can see it's threaded back to there. Since we were using the keyboard, I guess it's another neat feature to talk about. Apple has improved autocorrect. So instead of saying duck, it might correct you to another word that you might be trying to say instead. So it'll learn your lexicon, your vocabulary, and start autocorrecting to those words instead of just the ones that are in the basic dictionary. Apple has also improved search here with iOS 17 and messages. So I can stack search terms now. So I can first start looking for maybe a photo. So I can tap photo here. And then I want to filter this down again. I want to look for just from ones from Wes Hilliard. I can filter those down. And here are all the recent photos that Wes has sent me. That's exactly, of course, the one that I was looking for. Apple has done some cleaning inside the message app and overall it has a little bit of a new design. If I tap onto Wes's name up here, things have been changed, some location stuff has moved, we have this ability to revert photos, so Wes updated his photo, I could revert it back to the old one if I had preferred that. I can include things like show and shared with you, all this stuff has just been slightly tweaked here with iOS 17. The big change comes here with the keyboard. As you can see, the camera and the plus button have been changed, now there's just a single plus button. Tapping on the plus button gets this new expansive menu that shows off all the different features you can tap into, all the messages apps. So camera is there, your photos, which actually shows the most recent photo that you've taken as the glyph. There are your stickers, cache audio, even location is now here. This would be like your favorites and most used, and when you tap on more, all of your other ones will be listed down here. These can also change their order. I can move these up and down based on how I want them, but by default, it's just in alphabetical. Location sharing is really cool with iOS 17. First, it allows you to do it from here without having to tap into that menu, and you can even drop a pin for your location. I can just drop a pin. So before you'd have to go to Maps to do that and then share that location, now you can drop a pin and send that exact location right here from the Messages app. We honestly still have a lot to talk about in regards to messages in iOS 17, but I had to hit time out to thank our sponsor for this video and show you guys one of the most capable and impressive MagSafe multi-chargers that I have ever gotten to test. I've only got a few seconds here, so let's hit the high points. This thing is the first GAN-based MagSafe and Apple Watch charger that's come to market. It has a total of 100 watts of power that can be distributed among the six, three, six outputs here. So you have an Apple certified MagSafe charger, an Apple certified fast charging Apple Watch module, there's a Qi charger you can toss your AirPods on, and then there are three USB outputs, one USB-A and two USB-C. Six outputs on a single charger, 100 watts of total shared power. Have you guys ever seen another MagSafe charger that has USB-C outputs on it? No, there aren't any. Plus, ESR is using its CryBoost technology, which puts a fan behind your iPhone to actively cool it while it's charging. So you can get incredibly good charging times even when you're doing something like watching videos. Your iPhone's not gonna overheat. And of course, as I said, this is all Apple certified. Apple certified MagSafe, Apple certified Apple Watch, this is the best charger out there if you're looking to charge multiple devices and it's incredibly affordable. If you'd like to check it out, there's a link for it down below in the description where you can pre-order it. Other than that, let's go ahead and get back to our other video. Let's talk about stickers. So I'm gonna go back into the plus button here and tap on stickers. First, let's look at Memoji. Apple has added new Memoji poses for Halo, Smirking, and Peekaboo. With iOS 16, Apple allowed you to take a picture and basically remove the subject from it. Uh, remove the background from that. Now you have the ability to take that 
and turn it into a sticker just like that. And it pops right here into your sticker keyboard. Let's go ahead and try it one more time because we have another new way to do it. So not only does it work with photos, but it also works with videos too. So let's go ahead and pause this video. I wanna pick just the perfect frame where he's kind of smiling right there. I like that one. Let's see, is that a good one? Yes. Right there like that, I can actually grab him from a frame in a video and turn him into a sticker. So now not only can you add these stickers, but Apple has these new effects. So if we look at the car here that we added, I'm gonna to touch on that and hit edit effect. Apple's added four effects. So there's outline, which puts a white outline around your sticker. You can do comic, which applies a comic book style effect, kind of like uh, extra shading. There's puffy that gives it this 3D look like an old school 90s puffy sticker. And then shiny, which has that kind of holographic that you'd see on like a trading card, but all those little hexagons and it reacts to the light. And as you can kind of see how it actually changes the light pattern based on where your iPhone moves. It's really like a holographic sticker. The puffy one, it does something similar just as it reflects the light off just like it was a puffy 3D sticker. Back in messages, when we tap on that plus button and tap on stickers, you can see all the stickers that we've created. So some of them move. This one is a live sticker. So my baby is actually holding that keyboard and moving it. So there's a live sticker that goes in. Stickers can also be placed into any spot. So I can just drag a sticker, move it up, put it here, just like that. Harrison likes to help type two. Two O's. Aside from actually your live photos and photos that you create as stickers, you can also now reply as emoji with stickers. So I can just grab any one I want, drag it on there, and boom, I've added a sticker as an emoji. Super easy to do. Aside from using stickers inside of the Messages app, you can use stickers anywhere that the emoji keyboard is capable. So here I can just tap on the emoji keyboard inside of Notes, swipe to the left, you can see my recent stickers that I used, like my holographic car, we can pull that right into the frame, pull that up again, tap on emoji. There's also this full option to go to any stickers that I have, all these different sticker packs from third-party apps and everything, all that can show up in here and apply them anywhere that you would use emoji. Then we have check-in. So here, again in messages, tap on our plus button for all of our different apps, scroll down to the new one called check-in. So check-ins, let your friends and family know that you have arrived safely. So as you're going somewhere, you're walking to class, you're coming home from a late shift at work, you can check in with someone and they will be able to help watch your, look, know your location and make sure you get where you're supposed to be going. So your iPhone will keep up with your progress. It'll show as a live activity card and have you know you on your way to your location, tapping on continue. There's two different options. There's limited, well, which will only show certain information. So details about battery and network signal for your iPhone and your Apple Watch. Full will include your all the limited information as well as the route that you've traveled the location, the last time your phone was unlocked, and when your Apple Watch could have been removed. So you can choose which one of these you'd like to do. Hit continue. They'll be notified when you send the check-in, when you arrive at your destination, or your iPhone goes offline. Plus, if you're traveling somewhere and you stop making progress towards your destination, messages will check in on you. And if there's no response from you, information is going to be sent to whoever you are checking in with. Things like your battery life, cellular connection, uh, last location, all of that stuff. Boom, just like that, I can send it to Wes. And then as soon as I get to where I'm going, he will be notified. So it has an address of where it thinks I'm going and then it'll alert him. If I want to change where I'm going, I can tap on edit. I can change the location. I can change my travel time from driving, transit, walking, and how much information when I do. I can also change the details from when I arrive to after a timer. So if I'm only going to be gone for maybe a 20 minute walk, but I don't really know where I'm going, I can put that 20 minutes on. If I'm not back in time, it'll send them that alert with my location and other information. There's also the ability to auto delete verification codes. So if you're signing into Google or Amazon or anything that has two factor authentication enabled, you'll often get those text messages with like a six digit or eight digit code that you would have to enter to verify your identity. Those would kind of fill up your messages app. Not anymore. There's a new option that you dig into in settings that can automatically delete these text messages after you've entered their information. Just go to settings, passwords, password options, and you can clean up automatically. And then every time those come in, you'll enter it into an app or website, and then those messages will be deleted and they won't clutter up your messages inbox.
Briefly, Apple also added these, which is kind of cool. This is the contact photo and poster. So now if I tap on this, I can enable the feature. I can show my first and last name, whatever I'd like it to be displayed as. So of course, Andrew O'Hara. It knows my apostrophe because it's learned from my autocorrect stuff. Name and photo sharing, I can turn that on. Contacts only, always ask. I can edit this, change it a bunch of different ways, how I want that to be displayed. If I wanna add um, more photos so I can customize these, so I can change my poster. Do I wanna add photos, emojis, anagrams? Let's go ahead and do photos. Of course, it pulls up a bunch of pics of me in here. This is, I don't wanna look at any of these photos of me at the moment. Let's go back, maybe we just do an emoji, put this in there. Any of the ones that I've created can pop up. I can choose how they're laid out, done, next. Awesome. Other emojis that we have are emojis. Change the background color. Maybe go with more of a blue. Stick with the Apple Insider theme. Done. Cool. I've updated my contact card just like that. Or my contact poster. Can move that down. I can adjust the crop on it so my head's more in frame. Done. Update that. Boom, I've created this poster that will show up for everybody else when they are shared my contact information. It will show in the Messages app. Uh, shows when I make a phone call. All of that. So that's it. That is what is new with Messages as part of iOS 17. What's your favorite new feature? Let me know down below in the comments, on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, or on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941, because my regular usernames are taken. Otherwise, stay tuned. We've got a lot more iOS 17 coverage coming. Thank you again, DSR, for sponsoring this video.